fantastic. Well, um, thank you, Lane, um, and uh, thank you, everybody, and thank you, Pete, for uh, giving me a chance to uh, say hello and to uh, talk a little bit about my experiences. Um, in a lot of ways, I'm sort of the polar opposite of, uh, of Lane uh, when it comes to Wikipedia. Um, Lane's been editing every day since 2008. Um, I have been a casual typo corrector for basically most of my history with Wikipedia, with uh, a couple of uh, exceptions. Um, I first started using wikis in 2000, which actually predates Wikipedia. And I think one of the early experiences I had with the wikis that I was using um, is very similar to what Lane uh, was talking about. And it's something I've heard Ward Cunningham say about uh, wikis in general. Um, which is you, you know, if you try to define what a wiki is, you know, there's a lot of things that you can point to. But I think probably sort of the universal, like, positive experience that most people have had with wikis, and I think it's sort of the defining kind of ideal of what a wiki is, is when you go, you put something out there, you go away for a little while, you come back, and you see that other people have come and kind of magically made, you know, your, your work better. And um, I guess the story I want to share with all of you is that you know when it's working well, it seems like magic, um, and it's really just a wonderful feeling. And it's probably something that all of you uh, who have uh, been exploring this so far have experienced on some level. Um, sometimes, because it seems so magical, it's easy to forget that behind all of the magic are just a bunch of normal people, just like all of you. Um, who are passionate about a particular topic, who are going around, who have discovered a page for whatever reason, and who feel compelled to edit it in the same way all of you feel compelled to edit content. Um, what I really like about Lane's presentation was he was going through and he was stepping through and showing the behind the scenes of, you know, of the actual kind of social elements of what makes a page a page, which isn't always immediately apparent. What I want to really do through just a couple of stories is really emphasize how important it is to remember that there are people behind all of these pages. Um, sometimes, uh, especially as a casual editor, um, it can be uh, a challenging experience to come on board to make a change or to attempt to do something um, and then to get reverted or to get a message that may not be clear or may not seem particularly pleasant, you know, and uh, just to really understand that um, you know, the Wikipedia principle of assume good intent um, is at play and that everyone is a person who is trying to, you know, just help the cause. Um, it's, it's just a really important thing to just try and discipline yourself to remember as, as you're going through and you're participating. Um, so I'm almost embarrassed to, uh, to share what my uh, original participation on Wikipedia looks like. Um, and uh, basically it consisted of two activities. Uh, the first activity, what I said before, was essentially anonymously fixing typos. Um, and then the second activity was anonymously vandalizing Wikipedia. And I'm serious when I say this, but my intent in vandalizing Wikipedia was, um, as Pete mentioned in his introduction of me, um, I used to, um, and, and still do to some extent, I was working in the collaboration space. And I was, um, you know, what I would do is I would give talks. Um, to people on, you know, various things that were happening in the world. And one of the things I would give talks on were wikis. Well, one of the best examples of, you know, the magic of, you know, wikis and Wikipedia in particular would be to open up a page, something that people were interested in in the room, and to say, okay, let's completely vandalize it. So to go through and to edit the page in front of, you know, 100 people in the room, um, to change the content, to save the page so that they know it's live, um, to talk for a few minutes, and then to reload the page. And of course, what would happen back in the old days, um, you would reload the page, and 100% of the time, um, the changes, your vandalism would be reverted, and the page would be restored. And so it was sort of a wonderful kind of real-time stunning demonstration of the magic of Wikipedia. Um, and I was doing it really to show you know, that there were just a lot of people around the world, you know, just monitoring content, you know, taking care of the content. You know, this was sort of answering the question of, you know, well, if it's open, you know, what's going to prevent people from coming in and messing it up? Well, what prevents people from coming in and messing it up um, was uh, is community. Well, I'm telling this story because I used to, uh, I used to come and, and do this demonstration probably around 
2004 uh, is when I started doing it, 2004-ish, 2005. And the community was small enough then, and there were not as many bots that would automatically do reverts and that kind of thing. Um, if you were to try this experiment today, like most likely, unless you were really intentionally trying to screw with articles, like a lot of the more dramatic vandalism that we would do live would just be automatically reverted by bots today. Um, but something interesting happened to me in uh, 2008. Uh, I was in Ethiopia at the time. I hadn't given one of these Wikipedia talks uh, in, in a while because at this point, you know, Wikipedia had exploded. Um, but I was doing some work in, in Ethiopia and um, people asked me to talk a little bit about social media. And so I was talking about different things that were happening in social media and I wanted to talk about wikis. So I decided to use the exact same, you know, uh, demonstration that I always did was I would, you know, vandalize a page and I would, you know, wait and talk for a few minutes and then I'd come back and it would be magically corrected. Well, um, so I was in Addis Ababa, which is the capital of Ethiopia, and so I decided to change that page around. And I was engaging with the audience and I asked them what they wanted to change and they were laughing and they said, let's change this and that. Um, and what we ended up doing was we changed the population. And we changed it dramatically. I think we said it was like the population of Addis Ababa is 10 billion people. And uh, if any of you have done any work in, in developing countries, you'll know that you know some of these census issues are actually really kind of political and, and important and controversial in a lot of ways. So actually changing the census number, I mean, we changed it dramatically. But actually doing that kind of change is, uh, uh, it could be a pretty controversial thing. But we were doing it to the extent to just try and make it really clear that it was vandalism. And so I changed the page, I saved it, I was, you know, talking about other things. About a few minutes later, I reloaded the page. It hadn't been reverted. Um, the population of Addis Ababa, according to Wikipedia, for those five minutes was 10 billion people. So I said, no problem, um, you know, we'll just wait a few more minutes. There are a lot more people, there's a lot more content on Wikipedia now, so people aren't going to see these changes as quickly. Uh, I'm just going to hang out and wait a few more minutes and see what happens. So I waited another five minutes, went back, reloaded the page. Content was still there. So now I'm getting kind of nervous. And I'm thinking about, oh, God, you know, there are kids out there right now who are using Wikipedia to do research. And they're pulling up this page, and it's saying that there are 10 billion people, and they're going to put it in the report. And it's really going to screw over a lot of people. So finally, at some point, it was not being changed. I had to go back in. I reverted the edit. and. Uh, I just sincerely hope that in the 15 minutes that uh, my vandalism was in place, no one got screwed over too much. Um, you know, the point of the story was that, you know, the, the nature of the community was changing, the scale was changing, and the fact of the matter was, like, at the end of the day, there are a whole lot of people um, on Wikipedia. That's what makes it magical. That's what makes it grows. But there's a lot more content on Wikipedia than there are people. and. Um, you know, when you think about sometimes um, how you might edit a page and how, you know, you're, you're, you've got the best intentions, you go, you make a change, maybe you don't cite it or you don't have a citation or you don't go through and, um, uh, you know, follow some Wikipedia guideline or, or whatever, um, and you get sort of a caustic sounding response from an administrator or another editor um, that can sometimes sound offensive, you got to realize that at the end of the day, there are just a bunch of people who are passionate about these projects um, who are trying to make Wikipedia the best place possible. And frankly, they have to deal with you know goofballs like me who, again, I had good intentions too. I was trying to you know show off the magic of Wikipedia by vandalizing it. And yet at the end of the day, you know, every time I vandalized Wikipedia, some human being actually had to go and fix it. And so, you know, this is the things that, these are the things that we don't think about or remember when we're, we're editing Wikipedia. Um, one, one thing I will just add, you know, on top of that because I've been talking a lot about this particular story, uh, is when you interact with Wikipedia, when you make edits, uh, and when you start engaging with other people, I would say my personal experiences the vast majority of time have really been wonderful. Um, I've rarely had sort of a caustic experience with, with anyone. 
Um, even when I was doing the strategy project, which was a whole different thing, it had its own set of norms and, and so forth, it was, uh, it was always, it was mostly a positive experience. Um, occasionally you have something that happens where someone's interacting with you and it's just not necessarily a pleasant experience. And you just have to remember, um, you know, if you're engaging in English, sometimes you're engaging with people whose first language is not English. And so again, they have the best intention, but they don't necessarily, um, you know, they don't know how to express it in a way that's tactful or polite or that kind of thing. And uh, I think, you know, what makes Wikipedia work um, and work well is just, you know, being really conscious of the people behind it and to the best extent, you know, trying to be empathetic um, and, again, trying to assume uh, good intentions.